Why you wanna run away? Why you gotta be afraid? I wish I could make you stay. But baby, I love you. Why you tryna break us up? When I'm tryna build it up, I wish I could make you stop. All right, so I am getting ready to go. Just made my coffee. I'm gonna take this with me. I also need to make my water as well. I take water and sometimes coffee with me everywhere I go. It used to be Dr. Pepper and coffee. Now it's water and coffee, but this is my busy cold brew coffee mixed with caramel apple butter and sweet cream. Oh my gosh. This is definitely inspired by a coffee shop that you might frequently go to this recipe is, it tastes pretty much identical except for it's better because it's homemade and it's organic and the ingredients are better and all the things. So that brings me to talking about busy cold brew today. That is the cold brew coffee I'm drinking. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I am constantly talking about busy cold brew. So I'm so happy that they are sponsoring me today. It's like a dream sponsorship. So thank you so much busy for partnering with me. Busy cold brew has a few different blends. They have their breakfast blend. They have a light rose. They have an espresso blend, which the espresso is my favorite, but this is an organic cold brew. It's actually the only one that I've been able to find so far. And I don't know if you guys know this, but cold brew coffee overall is less acidic. Busy cold brew is actually certified US USDA organic and it has no sugar, no additives. And I think that's the reason why I have been able to drink coffee for the past few months. Um, if you stay tuned till the end of this video, I'm actually going to share finally some of the weight loss questions you guys have asked me. I stopped drinking coffee for a long time and then just started drinking busy about once a week when I started back drinking coffee. And it made tons of difference when it came to my gut health. And I'm not making this recommendation to you. I'm just saying how it helped me. I buy it at Publix. It's in over 5,000 stores nationwide. But it's brewed for 18 hours, which is what makes it like so flavorful. This is like having a latte, but it's actually cold brew coffee. But I do want to encourage you, if you have not tried Busy Cold Brew, go out and try it. It is so absolutely delicious. It has 273 milligrams of caffeine in each 12 ounce serving. So I think that's probably about how much I put in this cup. So I'm getting my caffeine in for the day. So I'll leave the store locator down there so you can try it yourself. And also try this recipe. If you like apple, it's getting around the time of fall, try this apple cold brew coffee. All right, so we're gonna head out. I have my water, of course. I also have a busy day ahead. Ansley has a dentist appointment. So I'm gonna go to Walmart. I'm gonna grab a few groceries. We don't need a whole lot of groceries. We have plenty of meat left over from last week. We didn't cook a lot because we just had a ton going on. I'm gonna pick up a few things we need at Walmart. I'm gonna show some things that are new while I'm in there. I also have a prescription to go pick up. I wanna try the new Chick-fil-A. I actually think they had it last year, but it's their new milkshake. And I wanna get a Chick-fil-A sandwich because that sounds so good. And then I'll probably do like a car chat of like my weight loss questions that I've been getting. So let's head on out and see what the day brings our way. I'm gonna have about eight drinks up in this bit. I mean up in this car Skills thing skills delaying. I didn't say I didn't say it We're all friends here though, right? All right, don't mind me just I need to fix my camera. I feel like it's crooked. Just sitting in my car in the Walmart parking lot I got the new I think it's a caramel crumble milkshake and we're gonna try it together Well, that's sweet it's good. I didn't know what to expect. I've never had a caramel milkshake. It's good. I don't know that I would buy it again, or maybe I would. And I also got food, which I know a lot of you are probably gonna be like, how do you eat that stuff and lose weight? Because I've had that question before. I don't always eat this stuff. But today, honey, I went all out. I got a Chick-fil-A sandwich. I did not get grilled. 
I won't be able to eat this whole thing, but I'll have leftovers. I got a Chick-fil-A sandwich with pepper jack cheese. And then I got the mac and cheese because I haven't had it in forever. Won't be able to eat all this, but you know, we'll see what we can do. And then of course, my Chick-fil-A sauces. I also brought like this little piece of paper with me that has some questions that I had asked on Instagram. I asked on Instagram if anybody had any questions like as far as like my weight loss because I've had so many in my Instagram DMs. I needed like a space to put them all for people that had specific questions. And if you have any questions that I don't answer in this video, let me know. I'm gonna sit here and eat first, go into Walmart, film a little bit, pick up the things that I do need, which is just like four or five items to be honest with you. But if there's a new stuff to show you guys, I'll show you that. And then when I get back in the car, I'll either answer these questions whenever I get home or when I get back in the car. We'll see how I'm feeling. Sometimes when I walk through Walmart, I get overwhelmed. And I'm just like, let me get home now. Ooh, this is up close. So I don't know if any of you guys remember my last Walmart video where I got these puffer vests or like crop puffer, puffer, puffer vest. Well, I got a large and they are way too massive for me. So I'm assuming they're oversized because I mean, I can wear a medium shirt, but I feel like I'm still in more of a large. So I'm gonna return these while I'm in here. Glad I had them in the car. I'm also really hoping it doesn't start raining while I'm in here because it is supposed to start raining around one o'clock-ish today. And I'm just not feeling it. I'm not, I don't have an umbrella. Okay, okay. First of all, I wanna talk about all of these bikes that are on clearance for $110. And these over here are on clearance for $90. I'm about to send these to my husband because we have been wanting a bike. Here's more over here and these are only $70. Wow. So I return the vest, but the first thing I see in the checkout aisle, cause I'm kind of like walking through here to get to everything else are these chocolate cookies and double chocolate frosting dunkaroos. I don't need them. My kids definitely don't need them, but I kind of want them. I'm going to head to the fall section because last time I was in here, I did not really look around the fall section. So we've got Halloween candy out. We'll see if we have any fall decor. I probably won't go through that a lot. Fall decor is just not my thing this year. I have too much. I want to get rid of a lot of what I have. So there's that. Here's all the fall party cakes. So you have the pumpkin spice rolls, fall party cakes. Um, we have the vanilla and the chocolate. And oh, we have the pumpkin brownies as well. Okay, so they're definitely still putting stuff out, but they have some really cute little items. Like I said, I don't need anything this year. I'm not even gonna be home for most of like the fall time, whenever I get back home from this long trip I'm gonna be going on, it's gonna be time to decorate for Christmas. So I just thought I'd show you guys a couple things. Um, just decorating for fall this year is not my priority. If I do anything at all, it'll be get rid of some of the stuff that's in my attic. I do like this white pumpkin right here though. That's really pretty. Also, we have the pumpkin patch farm and the pumpkin patch farm truck. Some more kind of like farmhouse-ish decor. Got all of these down here. These are super cute. These are $11.84. We also have these little signs for $5.98. They're, I guess, wall hanging decor. So we've got fall and Halloween. Get your sheet together, okay? Hocus Pocus. That would be really cute on a coffee bar though. I'm not gonna lie. Lots of coffee potions. Hey Boo, Happy Halloween, Fall Market show your spooky side killing it this is really cute i don't know what you would use this for i mean it's kind of like a tear tray but with not much room now this is really pretty i feel like this is something that you could use like year round even though it has like little pumpkins on it it's still so adorable i would probably leave this in my house into the spring i love more of the neutral colors that they have i mean look at these pumpkins right here these are so beautiful we also have all of these pumpkins right here. The Lord is my strength and song. And then, oh Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. So just like Bible verses on these right here. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Like a pumpkin wood tray, but check this pumpkin out. It is 1997. I love that. Love that so much. 
And looks like we have a fall tic-tac-toe, which is pretty cool. I really like this pumpkin too. All right, we have some new pure protein flavors. We have caramel churro and galactic brownie. All right, we have all of the new soft soaps for the fall. Ginger spice scent. Okay, what else do we have? A pumpkin scent, Hootie Halloween, Silly Scarecrow. This is also a pumpkin scent. What is this one? Raspberry Vanilla? I bet that's good. We also have Harvest Time, which is a apple scent. I think I'm gonna get this. An apple scent, I love apple anything. That'd be really nice in the kitchen. Oh my gosh, look at all of these Halloween earrings that I just found. How cute are they? $4.88. They also have this little three-piece ring set and it comes with stickers as well. But more earrings over here if you want to check these out. There's actually a ton of them. Like you like the smaller ones you get more earrings for the same price. So cute. All of them. Okay, check out these really cute Reebok hoodies here in the women's section. I love this color right here. $28. They also have black and then this gray color right here. Also, this is also not a bad deal. For $15.98, they have the flare leggings, which I love. I'm very tempted to go ahead and get a black pair for this price. Um, I just don't know what size I would need to be. I just don't know what size I would need to be honest. So cute though. And honestly, I don't feel like trying anything on, but look at these jackets behind me. These look like Lululemon dupes. Like they look like just like what Lululemon jackets look like. They also have these two piece workout suits. They're, I guess like $15.98 for the pants. And then the top is also $16.98, but honestly, the material is really thick, so you probably wouldn't want to wear this well into like the fall, beginning of winter, especially if you're in the south. All right, so we've got the shackets over here. These are really, really cute dress shirts. I love this right here. Very pretty. Also love that as well. And then here are the waffle knit that I showed in my last video. I did a fall shot with me. If you want to watch that whole video, I will leave it in the cards up here but there's a ton of fall stuff in that video. And it looks like these are all the time and true flannels this year. I'm not a fan of really any of them. I mean, this one's not bad obviously, but it's like your same old, same old. Now this one I could probably get down with. This one is pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. This is like your same old, same old. I mean, nothing too extravagant. Now this one's not terrible, I guess, but I think I would have to go with this one right over here is my favorite. All right, so for $8.98, they do have these waffle knit, like, crew neck, I guess, long sleeve. They have lots of different colors. I really love this purple right here. And even though I'm loving the comeback of flare legs, I'm really loving this color right here of the, I guess these are considered denim. I don't know what they are, but they're so cute. They're $24.98, perfect for fall. Okay, loving these denim jackets right here, especially this brown. It's definitely different love that okay so they have everybody's favorite sweaters back this year i have been eyeballing this purple one online but i kind of wanted to see them in person just because of size reference because i remember even last year i sized down to a large so i didn't know if i could fit in a medium so that's what i'm going to check now okay got you guys sitting up on the sweaters hopefully you don't fall down but this is the medium honestly i think the medium would be a perfect fit and I just love the purple because I don't have the purple. So I just feel like it would be a good option to have this color in my wardrobe. I also love the green too. And I love this color and this color. That makes me not like want to get anything. I'll show you what's in my cart so far. Nothing that I came for, but I need another athletic shirt for the gym. And then of course you guys saw me put that in there. But I just found these new sets. I've not seen anybody talk about these online. I have not seen them in store. How adorable are these? And I would definitely wear this, 100%. They also have these, which I love, but look at the brown. The brown, those are such a vibe. Could I pull them off? I do not know. Y'all, honestly, I did not even come in here to look at clothes. I came in here to grocery shop, but how cute are these Terra and Sky shirts? They're $16.98 and they have lots of different colors. Oh no, these over here 
our cardigans. How adorable. I love this blue color. Of course, this would be like more, you know, fall color, but I've been loving this blue lately. $19.98 for these. Y'all need to check your Walmart. My Walmart has so much clearance. All of these t-shirts are a dollar and they also have the tank tops that are a dollar as well. Like any and every color you can think of. The tank tops and all that are over there. And make sure you scan stuff because some stuff is not even marked correctly. It's actually lower than what it says it is. So I saw these acid wash sweatshirts online and I almost bought one. But I'm going to check out the sizing in store. I didn't know if they even carried them in store. I think it's no boundaries yet. And they're supposed to be like unisex. Um, but how cute is that? I really like that a lot. I already have a sweater that's very similar. So I don't know. Probably don't need it. Ooh, look at these PJ sets. Oh my gosh, I know how I am. I'm obsessed with Joy Spun. And the fact that this is like hot pink and gray. Hunty, they don't have my size. Of course they don't have my size. I don't think you could wear a medium. I think I would have to do a large or extra large in pajamas, you know? So cute though. And here they are. I buy these every single year because they're so delicious. Look, have you guys seen the dill pickle cashews? They also have cinnamon and brown sugar and rosemary and sea salt. Okay, so has anyone seen these new veggie poppables? They have sea salt and ranch. So I haven't gotten a chance to try these yet, but I do know these are new because they just sent them to me in the mail. I'll show you when I get home. They sent them to me in a cute little hat to wear for like fall and winter, but they're the savory everything bagel, white cheddar, and smoky barbecue nut crunch by Nature Valley. They also have these up here, which look really good. Delicious. Okay, so this is interesting to me. I have always loved the oats and honey, but I've never seen the oats and dark chocolate. And I'm like a super fan of dark chocolate, like granola. So I think this is the snack I'm gonna get for me. Okay, so my Walmart has some really good clearance on their like baking items right now. These are only $1.58 for this bag. Normally they are $5.64, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab these. Okay, so while I'm here in the Halloween aisle, I see people walk past me and they see I'm filming, so like, like they skip the aisle. And you know they're gonna come back around because they're about to turn, they see me filming and they're like, Skirt. Sorry, I mean, I'm not trying to like blow you away. I'm not gonna film you, but anyway, does anybody remember skull suckers? Like they were, some of them were red on the back and some of them were purple. We used to have them in elementary school and have not been able to find them since. They were so good. I wish I remembered the brand that made them. They need to come back. And then check out all of these. They have medium blend black Tim Hortons, cinnamon swirl, mocha cereal and birthday cake how crazy is that this is like a concentrate though so it's a lot different than like just buying a cold cold brew like busy busy i prefer busy but um yeah we'll see even black raffle coffee co has cold brew now they have just black vanilla bomb salty caramel and pumpkin spice which honestly we'll see if these are all it looks like they're all black coffee which is nice i don't like any of them that are sweetened already they also have these iced latte little mixers which i have these at home i haven't tried them yet there's pumpkin spice and then i also have i think i have the hazelnut in this one at home but they have caramel and vanilla as well and we're also working with some pumpkin spice hot cocoa mix over there okay i thought this is really cool we have the country kitchen chocolate chicken pot pie. Look, Chef Ramsay has his own meals now. We have a chicken pot pie. I don't know what that is. Ground beef and something. Macaroni. Masato, mushroom risotto. Lasagna. Lemon. Caper chicken. Slow roasted beef. And we also have some Guy Fieri going on over here. Interesting. Oh, and then more country kitchen down here. Yeah. Did my good deed for the day because apparently that's a good deed these days. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna do another good deed. I better not hit my car. The heck? I swear, people are so freaking lazy, man. What is the deal with these lazy people up in this joint? I don't work here. At least pay me minimum wage. 
so I just got home and I don't really have a ton of groceries that are going to go bad in the time it's going to take me to do this Q&A. I don't think it'll take very long. So I just wrote down a couple of the most common questions. Um, one of the first ones I got was what made you change your lifestyle? What made you want to lose weight? What made you like get serious about this and the answer to that question is kind of a lot of things I was feeling terrible about myself every year around I don't know I would say from November to January I'm always like in this just depressed state my house is a cluttered mess and I get so depressed it's like a seasonal depression I get that way because I feel like I feel so overwhelmed that I'm paralyzed I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want anybody to see me. Obviously because I had gained weight and I obviously do YouTube for a living. So people would make comments on my videos and that's not like 100% the reason why, but it is hurtful when people say things about your weight on a video online, regardless in person online, it's hurtful. But mostly I did this for me. I did this for myself. I want to feel confident and I do. I want to feel comfortable in my clothes. I don't want to have to change clothes a hundred million times before I leave the house. I don't want to deprive my husband of being able to go out and socialize because I don't want to. So that is the main reason behind my entire lifestyle change. Somebody also asked, how much weight have you lost? I have officially lost as of, yeah, as of this morning, I've lost 58 pounds. Yeah, I've lost 58 pounds. And then the next question is, when did you start? I started on February 20th, which means it's been about six months since I started. So it's about 10 pounds a month. I think that's a healthy weight loss, um, especially for me, somebody who was pretty overweight. I think that 10 pounds a month is a healthy weight loss. Um, one of the most common questions I got was, are you on o Ozempic or Wagovi? No, I am not. I 100% am not. I am not going to lie and say that I did not look into it because I did. I was like, what in the heck is the hype? Because around the time that I started trying to lose weight, everybody was talking about it. And so I looked it up. That's like $1,500 a month. So no, I'm not on the shot. I did my research on it and I know a little bit about it, but no, this was a complete lifestyle change. I have been, well, I'll answer the rest of the questions, but the answer to that question is no. And if you're wondering if you need a shot to change your lifestyle and change things around in your life, change your health, just be confident in the skin that you're in. You don't need a magic pill. You don't need a shot. You don't need any of those things. You can do it without. So just let me say that. I got a lot of rude messages too. Like, so what shot are you on? Like, what? Like, I mean, that's basically saying, oh, um, you definitely did a shot. There's no way you could do it on your own. There's no way. Like, you don't know me, especially these people that are messaging me. Like, they're people that have never commented on my channel before or people that have never messaged me on Instagram before. Really? You know me real well. What do you eat? So, I eat whatever the heck I want to. I will say the main thing that I changed. So, at first, at first, I started off with cutting out the processed foods. And that's why you guys probably did not see a lot of grocery hauls, which I know you didn't see a lot of grocery hauls over the last six months, because I know when I go in the grocery store, you, you want to see like the new stuff that's out on the shelves and things like that. And I love to share that stuff. And I still love to try that stuff as well, but I wasn't buying stuff like that. And I was trying to stay away from stuff like that. I didn't want to get tempted to buy things like that. So in the beginning, I stayed clear of that stuff. I've gotten back into buying more convenience foods now that I'm down to like a more realistic weight of what I would like to be and maintain it. I still want to lose about 20 pounds, but um, that, you know, I stopped buying processed foods. I started eating more whole foods. Surprisingly, remember when I didn't eat fruits or vegetables, I eat fruits and vegetables now. It's actually, I actually prefer vegetables over fruit, surprisingly. So um, yeah, I changed my diet completely. Another thing though, you see, I just went to Chick-fil-A. I'm gonna give you an example. One thing that I always started doing since I started this whole lifestyle change, I don't like to say a diet because this is something that I will continue to do throughout my life to maintain a healthy weight and a healthy gut and just feel good about myself overall, physically and mentally. When I'm done eating, I stop eating. 
when I get full, I stop eating. I don't just continue to eat, 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 eat. I used to do that. And then I would be full. I'd walk around bloated. I'd feel awful. I'd feel miserable. I would want to go anywhere. And it was just an ever revolving cycle. I was putting on weight every week. So when I get full, I immediately stop eating. I save it and I eat the rest later. And for example, I want to let you know, this is my Chick-fil-A milkshake that you guys just saw me try before I went to Walmart. Still pretty good, but that's how much I have left. Okay. It's really sweet. I don't know if that I'll be able to drink it all. Um, mac and cheese. This is how much mac and cheese I have left. I didn't use any of my Chick-fil-A sauce, um, but this is how much of the chicken sandwich I have left. So that will be my dinner tonight. And that is something that I have continued to do. Um, when we go out to eat, I always have a ton of leftovers. We go out to eat at least one time a week because Alex likes to go out to eat on the weekends and that just makes for a no Monday cook day for me because we have so many leftovers. So I love that and yeah we can also share meals when we go out like so we're getting ready to go to Vegas soon and again I'm so excited. I'm gonna try to vlog this time since it's just gonna be like a couple trip just me and him a getaway. I have some life changes coming up. I, I can't talk about it right now. Um, like I said, I'm going to be gone for a while and I, I can't talk about it yet. I want to so bad, but I can't. And yeah, so one last hurrah before I'm gone for a little while and then I'll be back and then I'll let everybody know what the big change is. Um, but a lot of things are changing in my life right now. So there's that. Um, another thing, I drink water all the time. I have to have water with me, whether it's by my bed. If I leave my house, I have to have water with me. If it's at the gym, I have my water with me. Um, that's another thing, going to the gym consistently. Now over the summer, I will say I fell off a little bit. I wasn't as consistent but I have like almost a full gym in my garage pretty much everything I would need in my garage so I would just work out at home during the summer a lot but I will say the first like four months I was like going to the gym four to five days a week sometimes six days a week and really just getting in there and not cardio was not my focus weight training was more of my focus so um, keep that in mind when you were trying to lose weight you definitely need to build muscle and make sure that you are getting enough protein. For me, I've lost hair, okay? I've lost hair because I'm not a huge meat eater. I'm a sides girly and I prefer to, oh my gosh, I thought, I just thought somebody was in my yard. <laughs> I prefer to have the mac and cheese, the french fries, things like that. So it's really hard for me sometimes to get in enough protein. So keep that in mind if you are trying to lose weight get your protein in because that is going to affect a lot your energy just everything all around and especially hit your hair because your hair is made of protein so and then one more thing I'll answer on here what do you eat um what do you avoid I, I think I kind of already answered that but I will add to that I do intermittent fasting I don't do it every day but I do do it a good bit and I don't ever eat late at night anymore I, I'm not a snacker and like I said this has been like a lifestyle change I told Alex you guys know my husband I told him I was like I'm so scared of gaining the weight back because I've always been my whole life I've struggled with my weight in high school I thought I was huge and I I weighed every bit of 135 pounds, but I thought at the time, you know, I was big. So obviously I always struggled with body image and then I gained a bunch of weight, probably when I was around 22, 23 years old and I have not been able to get it off like since then. And now that I've, I'm getting back towards where I need to be, I weighed what I weighed in college. I have this fear that I'm gonna gain it back and even my husband was like, I really don't think you're going to. I think you're gonna be able to maintain it because you have changed your lifestyle completely. Like there's no question. You just do things like you're in a routine with your eating habits. Um, I think that's kind of why I don't post as many YouTube videos because I'm so focused on me and myself and being healthy that I, that's my first priority. So yeah. I'm hoping to get back into the groove of more YouTube videos, especially with the fall coming up and the winter and then the big life change. It's going to be so exciting. I, I plan on vlogging a lot or as much as I can during that process. You may not be able to see the vlogs until after I'm done, but there will be some and then there will be plenty after. I mean, I cannot wait to share this with you. It's so exciting. So there's that. And yeah, that is how I lost weight. It's super like 
boring. So many people have asked me and I'm like, it's, it's the most boring answer in the world, but I, I changed my eating habits. I changed my lifestyle, exercise. Um, the main thing really is though your eating habits. Also, do not deprive yourself, for me especially. I'm a binge eater. If anybody can relate, let me know down below because I know there's plenty of people out there that are binge eaters. I, that's how I gained my weight. I would like try to deprive myself all the time of things that I didn't think I should eat. And then I would go on this binge and I would just like overeat. And usually these binge would happen at night or while my husband was at work or just whenever I was alone basically, or I don't know, I would eat out more than I should have. But that was because I was depriving myself of these things. So I would crave them so much. And now that I don't deprive myself of anything, if I want to go to Chick-fil-A, I go to Chick-fil-A, but when I'm full, I stop eating, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna end the whole weight loss thing here. If you guys have any more questions, leave them down below. I feel like I did get more questions than that on Instagram, but it was so hard to go in and find them because I've asked this Q&A a couple times and I was I lost the screenshots and then I asked it again. So if I, I missed anything, leave them down below. I will try to answer them in the comments or in another video, but let's get inside, get these groceries in. I'll show you my haul and yeah, I think I have a, like a mail haul to show you guys too. So if there's anything interesting in it, I'll show you that as well. Okay, small little Walmart snack haul. I got some hamburger buns because I made shredded barbecue chicken last night and we ran out of hamburger buns. So I just grabbed those cheap Walmart brand, nothing wrong with those. I did grab that shirt that you guys saw with my buggy. Um, just, I need some more workout shirts. And then Funfetti, okay, so I was in the like baking aisle. You need to check out your baking section at Walmart because they have lots of clearance. So these were like $1.58. These are non-dairy dark chocolate chips. These are espresso morsels made with real coffee. These were 74 cents. Um, the Funfetti, I think I'm saying all these right. The Funfetti ones were 74 cents. I should have gotten more, honestly. And then these, I've never seen these before, but these are the bite-sized baking truffles. These were like $1.12. So, such a good deal. I'll definitely be using those for some recipes. And then I got a gallon of milk. I got these two Minute Maid juices. Alex loves juice and they were $2.58 and then they each had a dollar coupon on them so they were only $1.58 a piece so you can't go wrong with that. Also got these for me. This is my snack of the week. This oats and dark chocolate. I also got some double stuff Oreos and I got these for the whole family. I buy these every year. I just think they're so good since they came out. I think they've been out two or three years now. Got this soap to, I don't know if I'm going to put it in my bathroom or just stick it in the kitchen. Probably the kitchen. And then I got some singles and some Swiss cheese and some candy corn. My husband's going to be so mad at me for getting candy corn. Because he says I'm trying to make him gain weight when I'm losing weight. But that's really not the case. I just know he loves candy corn. And then classic corn dogs. Got these. Aubrey's been liking these. So grab those. Aubrey requested pizza rolls. I have like a little meal kit I want to make. And I need this like smoked sausage. So I grabbed one of these. I grabbed a 24 case of Sprite. And then um, this is actually PR I got in the mail the other day. And I'm going to show you the one that I got from Nature Valley too. I'm going to find where it's at, but it's somewhere around here. Um, but this is the PR package. There's a new flavor. I don't know if you guys remember when I was raving about these sour warhead sodas last year. I have some black cherry ones in the fridge right now, but they have a new flavor right now and the new flavor is peach. And so that's really exciting. I think my favorite flavor is the black cherry and the blue raspberry. Those are my two favorites. I'm not a huge peach fan, but I actually haven't tried it yet. And I believe this one right here is watermelon. And surprisingly, it wasn't that bad. So anyway, that is my little haul. Let me see if I can find my Nature Valley PR because it's really cute. So trying to have enough room here. Have you propped up with my little orangutan? You don't even know what that is. It's it's this pink thing that I got online that holds up your phones. I'll try to link it. Um, but Nature of Ellie sent me this cute little hat. And I was like, what the heck is this hat? And it's filled with those bars I showed you in the store. So they sent two smoky barbecues over. They sent over two of the white cheddar. And then they sent over... It's about to fall. And then they sent over two of the everything bagel. So I'll definitely give these a try. I still have to post these on Instagram. 
So I'm gonna put those back in there so I don't forget. Okay, so ignore my messy background. Like it's just a catch all in here, but I got a couple more things in the mail and at the chef store this weekend, I was gonna show you. So I got this pumpkin pie syrup at the chef store. You can get it a lot cheaper if you have a US chef store near you, the Tarani syrup. And y'all know I'm not a pumpkin pie type of person, but I started a coffee Instagram. Like I need another Instagram. And I know a lot of people like seeing pumpkin recipes this time of year. So I did go ahead and grab that and I'll see if my girls like it. And who knows, maybe I like it because pie makes me think it might be a little creamy. I don't know, we'll see. And then I also grabbed this blueberry syrup. Um, I've never tried the blueberry in the Tarani. I've always used the Monin syrup. So I'm excited to try this. The strawberry in this is really strong and you only need like hardly any, like just a little doop, doop. If you put too much, you've just ruined your whole coffee. Also ended up getting the Tim Hortons birthday cake cold brew. This is like a concentrate. Um, so not the same thing as like the good stuff, the busy, but um, we'll definitely give it a try. And then I got this hairbrush. Hasn't been used yet, but I got this hairbrush. Is there a hair on that? Now everybody, every girl in this house has blonde hair. So who do I blame it on? Who do I blame it on? Anyway, got this hairbrush from Timu because I thought it was nice and stretchy, you know. I gotta hurry. We're about to have to leave and go to a dentist appointment. And then also got this little tank top to wear under like, I don't know, under something. Under a cute shirt where you can see it. And then I got these to use when I'm putting on my makeup. Just like the little clips that clip your hair back. I'm not a fan of those headbands. I think they... For, they make me look like a clown, okay? I look like a big clown. And because I've been loving checker print so much, I also got this checker print clip from Timu. And then I also got these. I've seen everybody talk about these little, I don't know. They're like wristbands that you wear whenever you wash your face, you know, because you're always washing your face like this and the water drips down your arm, whatever. So I thought I would give those a try. They seem pretty nice. And on Amazon, they're like really expensive. Not really expensive, but they're like $10. And on Timo, they were like $1.58. And then since I'm gonna be traveling a good bit in the future, I um, grabbed this. I like this toothbrush holder because you, if it's your toothpaste, and your toothbrush in it. So I think this is like perfect for traveling. And then Ansley, do you wanna come in here and open your, you wanna come open your Shein package with me? I think we know what this is, but. Tell them what you got on today. Oh, flat. Fit check. Oh no, not your fit check. You said what I have on. Okay, so fit check. Okay, I got this white shoes, uh, flare jeans, just a plain shirt, and then a sweater. Cute. But I was tell I was actually telling them like what I oh yeah. Okay, so um so one day we went to the front office and th there's this really nice girl that like the everybody likes. She um wrote an email for us to be on the mail crew. And I'll tell you what Mel Crew is in a second. And then, like a couple of days later today, sure. our first period teacher says, Ansley and Evelina, I need to talk to you. And me and Evelina like knew what it was about. And then she told us that we're on the Mel Crew and now we have to pick another person to be our third Mel Crew. So like Mel Crew goes to the front of the school and then opens up the mailbox and like brings the mail to the front office. And then what else did you get picked for? Oh, I got picked for Flag Crew. Uh, Which is what she really wanted. She had to write a thing out and everything to be on Flag Crew of why she thought she deserved to be on the Flag Crew. You know, to respect the flag, make sure, you know, take care of it. Um, so, yeah, she got on Afternoon Flag Crew. So, really proud of her. So, this is what she got in the mail. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. This is a travel bag. I don't remember ordering this. No, I think this is it. Maybe that's what it comes in. She ordered some like crochet stuff. It wasn't a bag. The thing said it came in. But look at all the colorful. And yeah, I think that's the. That's probably what it is. It's probably like the yarn. Okay. Let's see if this is it. Let's hope it doesn't. Oh yeah, be careful. <gasps> Whoa! There's a lot of stuff in there. Do you know how to use any of that stuff? Yeah, and I can get. I mean, yeah. I know how to crochet, but I can't really. Okay, and my so, mom is like, oh, massive. there's a bunch of hooks. There's yeah, they have a hooks. bunch of hooks. Okay, cool. And it was only like $10 because 
So yeah. you're the, there's some starter yarn in there too. Look at these hooks. You got more hooks. Oh like yeah, the these are like hooks. really tiny hooks. Yeah, so these are gonna probably be more beginner stuff. And yeah. Well, there, this is like if you're making like animals or something, or just something that's like 3D. Really cool. But yeah, it make sure you a lot make of stuff. sure you keep up with it. It was only originally like twenty dollars. It was twenty dollars, and then for some reason she got fifty percent off of it, so she only paid ten dollars, and that's a good bit of stuff for ten dollars. And it comes with yarn, so throw that away for me, trash. But anyway. That is my little mail haul. That is my grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I didn't get that. Could you try again? Wasn't talking to you, Siri. Okay. Anyway, we are about to head out. Ansley has a dentist appointment. So I hope you will subscribe if you're new and you like this type of video. Let me know if you like the vlog style type of video. Make sure you try Busy Coffee because it is so delicious. If you have a Publix nearby you, a Sprouts, I know those are the stores near me that carry it. Check the store locator down below. The organic Busy Cold Brew Coffee is so delicious. I love it so much. So definitely check it out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>